Hey there! Are you looking for a better and faster way of generating images and the exact style and position that you want? Well, I've got the perfect solution for you. So let's not lose time and get started with exploring it. And our tool's name is a Thing Diffusion, and here you can see what an amazing content you can get using it. If you go a little bit down, you can see that you can go beyond image generation, and you can also create amazing animations uh, using the open source extensions. Uh, if you scroll down a little bit more, you can also see that you can create everything in your own way. Um, so if you are, for example, uh, just getting started with um, Thing Diffusion, that you can use a relatively simple user interface if you are product level then you can also use the pro level interfaces uh, so let's now lose time and launch uh, our app uh, before launching, you will see here that they've got uh, four user interfaces. Uh, it's the Automatic 1111, the most famous one, uh, Comfy, Focus, and Koya. And you can also see that in their turn, they have different uh, plans. Uh, for example, this Automatic 1111 has this fast, rapid, and turbo. So if you want to generate like very, very quickly, then you can um, go on with this turbo plan. Uh, so they differ with their pricing per hour and also also with their uh, access memories. Um, so let's get started with our Turbo and launch it. Ta-da! And our Automatic 1111 user dashboard is already ready and launched. Um, so I'll get started with an image generation. Uh, but first of all, let's check out these checkpoints and models that we've got here. So Think Diffusion has more than 50 uh, open source models or checkpoints already preloaded. So you are free to choose from here and you can also add yours. Uh, I will tell you from where. Um, okay, so for now we are using this uh, Think Diffusion Excel. Uh, and we are using this uh, text to image generation mode. So for here, we'll need to write some prompts and also negative prompts if you really want. Uh, and click the generate button. So let's do this. Mm -hmm. So let's hit this generate button. Okay, so we've got this image here. Wow, the higher quality. I can't. Okay, so I like this generated image. Every element that I've mentioned in the positive and negative prompts are there. Everything looks good. It's very realistic. But let's say there are things, for example, posing, that I just cannot describe with words. So that's where the image to image generation mode comes in. So let's see what we can do here. So for that, we are just navigating to the second bar, image to image. So we are basically doing the same here. We just need to fill in the positive and negative prompts here. Let's do it together. And then the magic. Now we need to introduce an image uh, that we want our generated image to look like or just to pose like that. Okay, so I have got something here, a celebrity. And then don't forget to go a little bit down to go to this control net, enable it, and also choose this open pose. And now, are you ready for the magic to happen? We are just clicking generate. And let's wait a couple of seconds. And here is our Joker. It's the same, it's the same face. But here we've got this posing. And if you click on this second picture, uh, you can see that it has this uh, posing outline. So based on that, it also generates our image, which is very realistic and very similar to the one that we have here. You can just see it. It's really cool. Let's just um, zoom in and you can see it's absolutely amazing. Let's now talk about models. As I've already mentioned, Think Diffusion has more than 50 open source uh, models already preloaded in it and you can add yours. But why should that? Because there are more than 50 uh, models already here. Okay, so let's first of all understand what a model is. So basically your generated images are based on the model that you choose. So let's um, separate two kinds of models, um, cartoonish and realistic. So if you want your generated images to be more realistic, then you should head to this um, Civit AI. And from here, you can choose a model based on which you want your images to be generated. Um, okay, so uh, for you to add your model 
on Think Diffusion, you will need to choose a model first of all, and then uh, you will uh, see this file uh, section here. From here, you will need to copy the URL of it. Then again, go back to Think Diffusion, head to this automatic 1111 uh, folder, then go to Models, and then go to Stable Diffusion, and hit this Upload button, and just simply paste it here and submit. Okay, so after you see it appear here, then you will definitely need to uh, refresh this uh, checkpoint so that you can find uh, your model here. And let's see, our model's name is uh, Protovision XL. So let's see if we got it here. Okay, so we have it here. And uh, yeah, it is this one. See, it was that easy. And let's now generate another image, the same image actually, to see how it is different and how it is similar to our model that we have chosen. So for that, I'm again typing uh, our captions. And let's hit this generate button. Okay, wow. Wow, it's so... Oh my god, it's really cool. Let's also go back to here and you can see how they are similar, how they are how realistic is this image. And that's it. By the way, there's an option to take out Think Diffusion Pro subscription at just $19.99 per month, which gives you 200 gigabytes storage and also 20% off on all types of machines. Well, that's it about Think Diffusion for today, your ultimate companion in image generation. And if you've still got any questions concerning it, don't forget to drop them in the comments and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell to not miss out any of our upcoming videos. See you next time. Bye.